Welcome back guys, my name is Julian, welcome to a new video on this channel, Starbreaks Production. Today's video we're gonna cover all sets from 1999. But first of all, I wanna ask you, what is your favorite set of this time? Is it the pod race? Is it the X-Wing? Is it the TIE Fighter? Just tell me in the comments what your favorite set is and we're gonna hop right in, don't waste any time guys. So guys, starting right off in the last place, place 13, because there were only 13 sets back then, we have the 7111 Droid Fighter. At a uh, retail price of only $6, uh, with 62 pieces and zero minifigures, uh, it gets the last place, of course, because the design wasn't properly, even for the time being. You get zero minifigures, and overall, they didn't match the colors, they didn't match anything really here, so that's why it deserves the last place. Continuing with place number 12, we get the 711. One zero, the land speeder. Now some of you may put him higher, some of you don't, but I put him in at the second but last place because its retail price was six dollars, only 49 pieces, which is so bad and too many figures. It looks extremely ugly and I may be a bit biased because I know the newer ones, but I think it deserves well the second but last place. So guys, coming in at number 11, we have a very controversial spot here. Some of you may put him higher, but I think it deserves well the 11th place and this is the 7151 Sith Infiltrator. Uh, even for the time being, it was not as nearly as accurate. We got only one minifigure at a retail price of $30 and 244 pieces. It wasn't the yellow from the egg, let's say. Uh, let's say like that. It was, it was edgy. There were no round pieces like at all. There were blue pieces in it and just, ah, they, it was a total mess, personally, I think. Now already reaching the top 10, we have the 7141 Naboo Fighter. At a retail price of $20 and a piece count of 179 pieces with four minifigures, it could be rated higher, but I think there are some better sets here because it's no, it's just an ordinary Naboo fight. We have, we've had like 10 of them, but anyways, well done. I don't like the card there, but anyways, nice to have, but again, only number 10 for me. On the ninth spot, I think the Speed Bikers, the 7128, have a well-deserved spot here. Uh, at only $10 retail price back then, and 93 pieces with, again, three minifigures, it's a very nice set, I think. You get two speeders, you get one Luke and they get two of these and or stormtroopers. I think this set is really great and for playing with kids just a perfect thing here. Now coming in at number eight. Now coming in at number eight we have the 7121 Naboo Swamp. I don't know what the set is so about it or why I love this set but those two steps those little like jungly things they just they have a really nice scene. I think the box art also looks pretty nice and at only ten dollars retail price and 89 pieces with four minifigures. It's a well-rounded set. The Snowspeeder 7130 has a well-deserved seventh spot here at $20 retail priced and 215 pieces with a total of three minifigures. It was the first, oh, well, of course it was the first because there weren't any. It was the first Snowspeeder and even for today's standards, I think they did a nice job. They could have done one or two things different, but otherwise I think it's pretty nice also to have this little turret from from the rebels. So anyways, nearing the top five, we have the 7131 Anakin's Pot Racer. I have this set actually myself sealed here. What is on Bricklink just a couple days ago, and I absolutely love it. At a retail price of $15 back then, well now I bought it for like 85 or something. Piece count of 136 pieces with three minifigures. It was pretty nice. It's a pretty nice set just to have these pot races. I mean, of course, there was episode one, so we get a lot of episode one sets here overall i think this set just is just a cute nice good set but now guys coming into the top five we have the 7101 lightsaber duel at six dollars only with 52 pieces and two minifigures some of you may ask me why did you put this set there why why in the top five well i think it's a very iconic scene and even though there is not much to see here we get a beautiful box art and we get darth maul and Qui-Gon Jinn fighting on Naboo, uh, on Naboo, on Tatooine, with
with the little bike of uh, Darth Maul and these little um, Sona stations in the back, I think it's just a nice cute set and it doesn't have to be big to be in the top 5 if you know what I mean. 7140, the X-Wing fighter has a well deserved spot number 4 at a retail price, $30 with 266 pieces and 4 minifigures, it was the first X-Wing again and I think they did a pretty good job, it was way better than the Ultimate Collector series we got the uh, the year after i think it looks nice has some maybe a bit of um, performance you could add something you could change a few pieces but overall for the time being nice set so reaching top three you can already guess what is left i mean there are only three things left and at number three we have the 7161 gungan sub at 50 dollars retail price which is not cheap guys i tell you it's not that cheap and only 379 pieces with three minifigures some of them may would have ranked it lower because it's a pretty awful price count but overall i think this set deserves number three because of the ray they did here a little of seagrass and stuff they did in the background and of course the sub is a well 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 done job here they could have added something a bit more a bit better a bit refined but i mean it's 1999 so i understand it fully why they haven't done it that good job so guys hurrying up we have number Number two, the 7150 Y-Wing and TIE Fighter. Now guys, this set, I wanted to put it for number one, but I thought the last set was just better. At $50 retail price and 409 pieces with three minifigures, it's a well, well, well-rounded set. We get a Y-Wing and a TIE Fighter, well, Darth Vader's TIE Fighter, to be more specific, and I just, I love it. I love the Y-Wing by itself, but in combination we get two fighters, it's just, wow, great set, and of course, Darth Vader for the very first time so guys the final spot is of course the 7171 Mos Espa pod race I mean this set is so ginormous for the days back then at $90 retail price and 900 pieces or 896 pieces and 10 minifigures 10 minifigures this is just insane guys I think we have the perfect winner here we get four of these or three of these pod races a lot of crews there are so many unique figures here this is by far my number one set of 1999 and that sums it up pretty much these were all the sets from 1999 only 13 because i mean it was the first wave and everything but yeah if you watched till this moment guys i thank you so much for watching and i hope you could uh, leave a subscribe or maybe a like or comment in the videos again what your favorite set was if you had that was everything from this video guys and i hope you have a great day and we see us in a new video